right, we got the other one on. That's two. <sighs> Gotta put the other cover on. But we are done. <laughs> Yay! So here I am out in the shop working on winch covers. So right now Matt is installing our new winches. Yay! But I need to make covers for them. So let's dive into that process. So first let's cover the supplies needed. So here I have a yardstick, outdoor fabric, I'm using some umbrella, um, something to mark your fabric, measuring tape, and the yard. It kind of comes helpful for different parts. As you'll see, I use this more for other parts than this. A hot knife, because when you cut some umbrella, it's recommended to use a hot knife and I'll use it later to cauterize the um, bungee cord, the shock bungee cord. Scissors, shock bungee, bungee cord that is 3 16 and outdoor Velcro. So those are just the main supplies that are needed. However, you may kinda use as you need, and then a pattern, of course. Number one is a pattern. So, I use the pattern on sale, right? Here's my diagram. To get the measurements for the rest of the pieces, we have to start with the circumference. To do that, we take the diameter of the winch times pi 3.14, and that equals the circumference. Found the diameter online. That gave us our circumference. Now we take to get the longest part of the cover, and we take the circumference that we just calculated plus 1.14 inch, and that equals the length of the longest piece. Now that you have the length of the cover, now we need to find the width of the cover piece. Take the height of the winch plus one inch, and then that will equal your width of your cover piece. Now we need to figure out the measurements for the choker. We first take the height plus one of the cover and then times it by one half. So basically it's half of the cover portion. Now for the third piece of fabric, I needed to create the top part of the winch cover. And this is supposed to be a perfect circle. It's not super great with dimensions and measuring and things, but did my best. So first we had to find the radius, which is the diameter times one half plus the one half inch hemline to create what we were looking for. Then taking that radius and anchoring it to the center and creating an equal distance circle all the way around. Not sure that was super successful for me. I tried it a few different ways, but I think I got the job done good enough. Once we had all the measurements down, then I came in with a hot knife to cut out all the pieces. So there should be three separate pieces for each winch cover. One a cover, the other for the choker, and then the top rounded part. Once those were all cut out, then I took the choker pieces and grabbed the bungee cord. Once I got this open, I I took the bungee cord and made sure to measure it and cut it where I had at least an inch or two on each side, overlapping. 
before cutting off the ends. Then I took our Velcro and cut it down to size to meet the width of the cover pieces that we had just cut out. So here you can see all of our pieces. We have here, uh, this is for two winches that I'm doing. I'm kind of just doubling it because we are in, installing two winches, so I might as well sew two winch covers and just do them at the same time. So we have our uh, side panels, we have our top, and we have the bungee insert. So now it's just about sewing it all together. Um, and like I said, there's three, there, sorry, there's two different ones here. So that is all one winch and that's one winch cover. So here we go. That's a completed winch cover as far as everything being cut out. This bungee is about two inches further than the fabric. This I did the uh, height of the winch, um, not including the um, hem space because that's not, that's part of the sewing. Um, so yeah, let's get going and get it all sewn up. everything pinned and ready. I tried to do some tape um, on this hemline, um, but I just ended up going in and putting in pins anyway, so um, the rest of them I just pinned. Uh, so yeah, so this is, so the Velcro is on each side here. And then this will be our new hem on this side. So this will be the out, outside. And then it'll Velcro together right there. Then we've got our top. And then our insert for our bungee is right here. So. I've got them done for both of them, so now I just gotta start sewing. Pretty cool little workshop there. What do you think, Bella? Is that your mommy? <laughs> hey, mommy. Devin. Dev. 
<laughs> Let's go say hi. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Hey. How's it going out here? Good. Wanna see how far I've gotten? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Show me. Alright, so I've got the inserts sewn. So that's the inserts for each one for each one. This is the cinch that cinches up. Um, oh, nice. That's fancy. To keep the yeah. thing on. Nice. And then I've got um, a start on the covers, and then they're going to Velcro. Like that. Oh, cool. Um, and then I have the tops here ready to go on. Cool. So just sew it away. Right. Ready for happy hour whenever you are. <laughs> well, good job, babe. Thanks. I'm actually, it's really, really fun. <laughs> I And your view of your workshop is right? amazing. Uh, it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. How's the sewing machine working? Uh, amazing as always. Yeah? yeah? No problems? I mean, uh, me problems, oh. not the machine problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Okay. Back to it. All right. <laughs> Alright guys, here I am. So, I've got the cover here, right? Which is great. It's all sewn up. If you flip it over on the inside, you can see the bungee that's in here that kind of keeps this elastic around. I still need to snip and cauterize these. Um, I just haven't done it yet. But I still need to do that. But you can see here we've got our bungee piece to help stabilize it. So when I'm putting these on, they'll stay on. And then we have a winch um, cover Velcro slip to make it so that when we have lines coming out, they have a place to go. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you put cover on and we'll just say we got lines coming off here and actually we'll do it this way so you can kind of see a little bit better so we've got lines coming off and then we have velcro here so what i can do is velcro it and then lines can come through this place if you if if they need to they can come from the bottom if they need to whereas the pattern that sail right has it doesn't have this belt road it has it just a uh, this would just be one big seam which is also nice I'm not saying that's not nice it's just uh, it doesn't have that extra flexibility that we really wanted for all of our witch covers so now it's done both of them are done they're all installed and they're working great lessons learned okay i am not a seamstress it is clear however i'm an avid diyer so i couldn't just do it let not do it myself so lessons learned when i sewed uh this uh piece this round piece on to the cover piece so this is that circular piece and then this is the cover it, I noticed it was uh, bunchy, and so it's got some weird gathering stuff, and I realized when it's on, I must have done something wrong. I did a wrong measurement because 
this is just a little too tight for the base. So I think when I used my diameter um, measuring on it, I used the diameter of this versus the diameter of the base. So given doing it again, um, I need to be very careful on using the measurements of the base versus the diameter of the top part of the winch because uh, the top part of the winch is going to always be just a little bit, um, well, not always, but it is in our case, just a little bit smaller. And so therefore it made our, uh, made this part kind of gather funky. So that's kind of a bummer. And it also made it so that it doesn't close all the way at the bottom. So I guess that was a benefit that we did uh, Velcro because now it closes and then, you know, it has a little bit more give, I guess you could say with Velcro. So that part, uh, was in my favor, but I definitely learned a lot, and I learned a lot about my sale right sim sewing machine. And I learned that if you email them with a concern, they respond within hours. It was amazing. I was I was astonished. They said, "Send me these pictures." Um, by email and I sent those pictures that they requested and then they got back within maybe 45 minutes to an hour with a solution that worked so I got it was just up and running again so tension is difficult especially for a newbie sewer like me um, tension can be quite a nightmare um, and then I also practice like different kinds of stitch I have like a uh, straight stitch and then a, um, whatever they're called, the triangle stitch, whatever. So I practiced both of those and I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. Sewing is a journey and it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Especially if you're not like detail oriented like I'm not at all so I just keep making mistakes so but that's okay it doesn't mean I give up I still got four more to do or five including the one up um, on the mask too or six six maybe I don't know, a lot so I've got a lot more to do and I'll keep doing them and they'll get a lot better than this one but for right now we have it all set and it's working great and staying snug even in the wind it'll say stay really snug um, and then when we get the head sail up and we have the lines attached we'll have this velcro entrance so it's definitely uh, was a success however it was not without struggle like real struggle <laughs> I'm not a seamstress, but I gotta rewind. I am learning how to be a seamstress. If you have any sewing tips and measuring tips, um, especially when working with uh, umbrella canvas, um, any kind of tips, please share them in the comments below. We have. This, this winter, I'll be taking down all of our canvas for our Dodger, which you will see in the next video. Um, uh, taking down all that canvas and probably going to redo it with this gray and because it needs to be redone anyway. So it's going to be quite the project. So I think I'm going to try to take that on this winter. It may be next winter, depending on the interior, but... I need lots of tips. If you got sewing videos on YouTube that you love, that you're go-to referencing, anything, whatever, even your biggest struggles with sewing, especially with the sale right, which is kind of just like an industrial sewing machine. So it's simpler, heavier, but still too complicated for me. No, it still is very complicated for me. Ugh, I gotta get those words right. 